Like I'm a big West World or West Wing, West Wing Fang, yeah, as well. Yeah, so. yeah. Did you say a West Wing Fang? West Wing Fang. Is that what they call them? Yeah, they call them West Fangs. Was there like a the Fang Gang? West Fangs. A a vampire version of West Wing. Yeah, it was a Buffy West Wing spinoff. Oh yeah, I want to watch that. It'd be boring. Hey, buddy! Welcome to Something Disaster Joy, Rick Price and Jasmine. Hello! We're playing some Gang Beasts. Yes! Gang beasts. I like to think that my character is Dustin from Stranger Things all grown up. I, I think you you've said, said that, that every time. Have I? Yeah. Every time you've like played that as exact him. Yes, sentence. Yes, exactly actually. that yeah. sentence. <laughs> I like to think that this is a recap montage episode. Oh, man. What? <laughs> I like to think that I'm, like, lazy ref. Like, I don't, like, I couldn't even get enough stripes on it, and they're going, like, the wrong way. I feel like you're an oh, old timey uh, like bank robber, you know. Ooh, sure. But you lost your mask. Yeah. Or like I'm like a a British football fan. Okay. Like I just feel like this is a guy I would see in a pub, you know. Sure, sure. Cheering on Arsenal. Cheering on. You Arsenal. having a laugh? Uh, hating no! on Arsenal. Well, hating on Arsenal. <laughs> you just did. Right in the Arsenal. Look at that. Look at that mustache. Wow, Ash. That mustache does not watch Can't British football. Do it. <laughs> that must, uh, mustache watches American football. It watches British Bake Off. <laughs> no, it watches. Look at that. It does. Oh! You're right. No, that's. Paul Hollywood would be jealous of that mustache. Who, who are you guys rooting for this season? I have not watched any of it. I've never watched an episode. Not what? Get your not life together. One. I don't you like know? cooking that, shows. Right, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> like uh, you and you and Chrissy both. Like I love cooking shows, but like I turn one on and Chrissy's just like, "Oh my god, I'm dead. I cannot do this. It's so boring." Oh I god. love British Bake Off. They, I love they're always shows. helpful to each other. Yeah, I, like I do the, appreciate that. It's the opposite of like Wee. American reality. drama yeah. reality. Yeah. That's why I like. Um, uh, the Project Runway. Yes. Me and Jazz love Project They are all so nice to each other, especially this last season. Oh my God, they're so nice to each other. You and Mel. You included me in that. Oh, sorry. I don't like Project Runway. So for me, I I watched Face Off. It's no longer on, right? But there were like 13 seasons of it, and I just re-watched it. And other than the first season, where they were more like reality TV drama, every other season after that, it was very helpful. Like they would, you would constantly see someone like, Ah, oh God! Thanks for catching me. Um, <laughs> Go away. Oh God, so no, you would constantly no, see people. No, oh no! No, no, no God! No, what? No! no! Get back on! Get back on! Get off me! Get on! No, get off me! Oh God! That was close. <laughs> that was a real close one. You guys can. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh, no! See how kitty! No! See how kitty! Hey, what? Good kitty! <laughs> The momentum, oh, it's so hard to jump yep. back on. Yep. You just fly Once you're gone, off. once you're gone, it's yeah. well. The energy uh, there. Yeah. The energy. Yep. Yep. So, uh, what was I was going to say about Face Off, you constantly see people like taking time out of their own time to mm -hmm. go help other people. Uh, face so off I like was that. Cool. I appreciate that. Face Off was cool because it's such a unique concept and oh, everybody yeah. was so creative. Oh, yeah. You know, I really loved how much Nicolas Cage and George Volta were in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were integral to that. Yeah, that yeah. Their use of... Um, Really, Jet skis in that uh, show. Yeah. They really, really got into each other's roles. It's, it's, it's true. That's true. You could see them inhabiting each other, you know? Ash, what are you doing? Nope. What are you trying to do, Jason? I'm trying to knock you out. Goodness, no. No, 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 no! no! Oh, God, we both fell off! <laughs> I hugged you on the way that down. That railing was not up to code! No. Oh, Out of here. Speaking of not up to code! Did you guys hear that uh, TBS will not be rerunning... Um, uh, Seinfeld anymore? Oh, yeah. Really? Because Seinfeld's going to NBC. Exactly. Well, see every see all that's all right. the syndication and stuff. Do you know it's blown what, up. Do you but know Netflix, what? right? Netflix got it. No, 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 they only have it for a few more years. Do you know what NBC streaming service is going to be called? What? It's like the Peacock. The it's called Peacock. Peacock. Yeah, the Peacock. Peacock. Yeah. No, no, uh, but but you, you you said Seinfeld, right? Yes. I thought that didn't Netflix just announce it in like 2021? They're getting Seinfeld. Like, wasn't that the big thing? Yeah. Is that what? Okay. Yeah, because instead oh, you know of Friends, are you, like they got Seinfeld. They they might. I assumed that ne uh, NBC probably got it because it wasn't an NBC, yeah. NBC show. But I figured somebody got the right. So choice. maybe somebody did, yeah. maybe Netflix has got it in like 2020, it's, and um, then Pe Peacock will get it oh, when their contract yeah. runs out. Dude, and I just Peacock did uh, European get, uppercutted you to hell. What? I don't know what they that got means. the Office. Office is about to be gone for. Oh uh, yeah, and that's yeah. legitimately the most streamed. But the show. thing is, television syndication is dead. So, uh, totally. What yeah, are TV totally. stations gonna totally. do? They rely on rebroadcasting well, these shows. And, so and that's why they're sort of they're, they're, they're trying to get those big money contracts with Netflix is what they're doing. And so to NBC do. is smart shoring up all this stuff because they want to launch that Peacock and I'm not going to lie between the office Ow. 30 Rock uh, like 
NBC has had some killer shows. Oh, and then SNL, of course. Uh, Friends, Seinfeld. Friends, they, they're going to knock it out of the park as far as no. I'm concerned when it comes to like, no, no, if there no. were a channel that I would get their streaming service for, no, yeah. it uh, would be NBC. MB NBC has, has always had my favorite. Oh, uh, you got job. three already? Yay. Dang, son. Like, I'm a big West World or West Wing, West Wing Fang yeah. as well. Yeah. So. Yep. Did you say a West Wing Fang? West Wing Fang. Is that what they call them? Yeah, they call them West Fang. Was there like a... <laughs> the Fang Gang, West Fangs. A, a vampire version of West Wing? <gasps> yeah, it was a Buffy West Wing spinoff. <laughs> oh, yeah, match up. I want to watch that. <laughs> It'd be boring because West Wing is boring. Well, West Wing, I yeah, I, but I, I agree you, to disagree, but it would make it less boring. Could you imagine? Because yeah, because what if the like president was vampire. also a vampire who had to navigate being a vampire? Okay, so do you guys remember the movie Daybreakers? Oh yeah, I thought that was going to be a really cool like political vampire movie. No, it's a gore fest. It was gross. Wait, so you wanted a political vampire movie, but you're poo pooing because on the most political vampire like TV it. show in history, which is Vest Ving. I don't like Sorkin. It's well, that's right. Fine. That's fine. We recently rewatched a uh, social network and I was just like, oh yeah. Sorkin a... isn't gonna direct the Vest Ving. No, but he's probably gonna... <laughs> the Vest Ving. The Vest Ving. <laughs> but like if you're trying to make it like West Wing, you're probably gonna get somebody that's gonna Sorkin write like Sorkin. Yeah. No, we're gonna and get somebody so like no, it's gotta be you gotta get like Taika. Like it's gotta be like yes, a pretend. I would like to have Taika in there. Yeah, yes. it, it would have to be a, a fake Oh god. No a, a, a no. tongue in cheek. We're bringing in Joss Whedon. Or a fang in cheek. Joss yeah. Whedon would be good too. <laughs> But uh, like Sorkin is just so dry, and yeah. then I was just watching the West Wing. I was like, "Oh yeah, I forgot." Or not West Wing. We're watching Social Network. And I was like, "Oh yeah, I forgot how." <laughs> yeah. Just stupid his writing rough. is. It's rough. No, that like, movie. The whole intro was just yeah. him being an asshole to that lady, mm -hmm. and then trying to justify it. Yeah. She's like, "No." They had to establish that he is an asshole. No, but I mean, but the thing is, like that movie is saved wow, by Ash. David Fincher's incredible directing. Um. Good job, Ash. It's true. I, I feel like grip strength. Is getting worse and worse. <laughs> like as soon as I grabbed on, yeah. I s immediately started sliding. It, it, it's variable, I guess. I don't you're know. Cooking, maybe. You know, we don't understand the 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 intricacies of this game. Let's be real. Oh, we don't. We're grinding. We've been playing this forever. We still don't know. Uh, oh, butt to the face. <laughs> no, please, please don't. Please, but yeah, sir. Uh, Get in there, sir. Get in there. No, no, you belong in there. You, sir. Hey, hey. No, 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 this is not a pub. <laughs> Sir, where do you think you are right now? We're in your groin. Yeah. This is a avant-garde dance club. This is, this is an avant-garde pub called The Grinder. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I realized I was doing like an Australian voice and not a British one. Now I'm like trying to backpedal. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> you cannot confuse those two. <laughs> oh, we're in the grinder now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Please, sir, sir. sir now you're now you're being Scottish or something. I don't know what's up. Uh, uh, every every one of those uh, regions are. No. Complaining no, about they this. all are right now, yeah, and I'm okay like, with that. If you're all mad, that's fine. I just don't want one singular um, <laughs> British nation mad at me, you know? I want the whole, uh, of, the want British, the whole of the United thing. Kingdom mad at me. <laughs> Oh man! Isn't Australia not? But a they're British not. Nation? No, they're part of the uh, the common the Commonwealth, right? Yeah. They still get so like, yeah, like the British. Exactly. Like, so like Royal Canada tours, is yeah. the same, right? Is there an uncommonwealth? The America. Gosh. See, we succeeded from that. And correct. Now, By the way, correct yeah. me in the comments if I'm wrong. I, I legitimately, I may be t totally wrong with that. I thought that Australia is part of the Commonwealth. I think they are part of the Commonwealth. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is, uh, like Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Crown, the Queen would constantly go to yeah. Australia uh, during her tours. Yeah, but she'd go to a lot of countries that really aren't associated with Britain anymore yeah, either. Was, well, I mean, back she's then. She's going to Africa yeah! all the time. They're probably worse than yeah. British. Who's in the grinder now, <laughs> Nations are controlled nations. <laughs> We all are your wanker. <laughs> uh, no, after World War II, they had to give up all their holdings in Africa. Mm. 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 No. They were able to keep the Falkland Islands, though, for some reason, the which Falklands. is so weird. Yeah. Yep. They were like, we need to keep an eye on South America. We don't trust them just yet. Yeah, such a... Oh, boy. Colonization, y'all. Yep. Colonization. <clears throat> Ooh. Not it's fun. like uh, Eddie Izzard used to do the bit about that. He was like, for strategic sheep farming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh They're actually spy sheep. <laughs> Robot oh my god. Sheeps. Oh my gosh. That just, just reminds pick me. him up! That reminds Good me. Good god! So, you, hey Ash, what you play in? They used to have a podcast, the yep. Hopcast. 
Yeah. And there was one time where Ash was talking about she met somebody. Not me, by the way, Ash, for anyone who doesn't Ash, know. Ash, different Ash. <laughs> Ashley Birch. She was talking Good about. God. She does the voice of Tiny Tina in uh, Borderlands. Yes. Um, oh, so Horizon also Zero. Uh, Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn. It's probably a She's in bigger everything one. these days. So anyway, she was talking about how she met somebody who uh. didn't know who Eddie Izzard was. Oh. And like how they were in the car and how like it flashed before her eyes like as they were there that she like was so stunned that she was like, I kind of thought about just opening the door and jumping out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, like, he like, is... And I was driving. He is a really good comedian. The problem is, is that he's not been in popularized TV lately. Mm -hmm. Maybe in, like, British television, he's still I'm trying to think of he, was on that, he was on that show, The Riches. That was his show. Mm -hmm. But that, I mean, that was, you know, what? With the mini driver. Eight years ago, um, ten years ago. Well, I'm trying to remember the last big thing I've seen him in. Yeah. He's probably just been I, doing BBC I, stuff, I'd assume. He also does think, voice work. Um, uh, no. He does a lot of voice work, yeah. 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 But he was in that um, Ocean's 12. Ocean's oh. 13? One of those. Um, 13 or 8? Oh god, no! <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that sign! It was yeah. one of the ones with George Clooney. So okay, it's probably like 13. It was the one in Amsterdam, yeah. I think. So. But yeah, I haven't I haven't seen him <laughs> in anything in, for a while. But I remember watching his stand-up a long time ago. I think yeah. he was very funny. Mm -hmm. And then I liked, he was in some show. It wasn't The Riches. There, there was some show where he was like a guest character. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I can't remember if it was Weeds or if it was mm. um, like Nip Tuck or it was some show that I watched back in like the mid to late 2000s. Wow. And um, he was in it as, a, as an integral a weird character. Show. It was a weird show, but man, for the no! time, whew, groundbreaking. For those of y'all who don't know, Nip Tuck was an FX TV series about um, uh, uh, plastic, plastic surgeons. Yes. And that were very unethical. Very unethical plastic surgeons and their kind of like their lives. Um, and uh, Weird relationships. Yeah. It, but it was like just such like a, a bonker oh God. show. Oh God. And, you know, for the time it was very edgy because they would show a lot of like surgery related no, stuff. No. That for was today's time, I would say it's edgy. Wasn't their relationship where like... Oh, there's some edgy I, stuff in there th still. There yeah. were some like very weird things going on in that no, show. No, no, for sure. The third season was all about figuring out who's a serial killer. Like it's, <laughs> it's, it's a, it's not what you expect when you hear show about doctors. Right. Literally, there was yeah. like this ain't your mama a scream scrubs. style serial murderer mm -hmm. in season three that they were trying to figure out like who did the murders. And then, like, they had this ad campaign where they showed, like, every one of the actors Ash? from the show. No, 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 stay above, stay above. Floating. What was that floating about? My goodness. No. Speaking of who is the murderer, we saw the trailer when we went to go see hmm. It Chapter 2. Did you guys oh. see the trailer for Knives Out? Knives Out. I really oh, yeah. want to see that yeah. movie. It's it so, so good. really good. There's so many great actors and actresses yeah. in it. I'm really excited for that. I found out apparently Chrissy is a huge fan of Daniel Craig's. Like she loves him as James Bond, and then has loved him in like a couple other things. So when Who's she saw he was not? in it, she He's was so like, hot right now. "She's like, boom, <gasps> Daniel Craig, I'm in." Well, I'm excited for what's his name, the director, to get back to doing more <gasps> Brothers Bloom esque style movies. Yeah. Ryan Johnson. Yeah, yeah, Ryan Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, After he needs to stick to those movies and stay away from Star Wars. <laughs> All right, well, let's gonna, not go down that. I was going to say, once people oh, realize careful. it's that director, they'll probably boycott it just yeah. on principle. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's a different movie. It's not Star Wars. No, I, was, I, was, I was being sarcastic. Rick, Rick was being sarcastic, no, 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 but no, now there's going to be people. <laughs> in the comments, like that I was said. a good punch. Uh, uh, I, it's just people need to get over the whole like. Seriously. Seriously. Anyway, knives Seriously. out. Seriously, it looks really good. Looks His good. other movies are great. Like, he, he did Brick, right? <laughs> Didn't he do Brick? I think he did. I yeah, yeah, I think that, that was would, that was his first yeah. big one that like kind of put him on the scene. Catapulted him. Yeah, that was then, that was like 15 do, years ago. Because then he did Looper, right? He did do Looper. Did right. He do so Looper? He, he did Brick. He did Looper. He did and Star Wars. And they both Wars. had um, what's his name in it? Uh, JGL. Yes, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yeah, JGL. Um, I never saw Brick, but I saw Looper. Brick's good. Brick's I, think, great. I think you'd like it if you yeah. if you like um, if you like Brothers Bloom. <laughs> I do. Yeah. It's more that style. It's more that style. It's not really. Funny, but it's it's you kind know, of like a quirky. high school. It's, it's a quirky. high school film noir. Yeah, because like I'm remembering when he goes to like meet like who, whoever that kid oh God. was, yeah. who was like the drug dealer or like the like the fixer or something like yeah. that. That kid, like that scene, I remember being comical simply because you're like, oh, that's right, they're in high school. Yes, like all this stuff is way too big for like a high school thing, in a way that like in the way that they're doing it. So mm -hmm. it's cool. Understated brothers bloom. Um. But anyway, 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 uh, point is, you know, if you're still complaining about Star Wars at this point, like, you gotta get learn, you got, rest. you gotta learn to get over Listen, it. Look, you there's got more, one more movie. It already happened, and 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 there's nothing that's gonna change it, y'all. The it's point one is, more movie, just just write it out. The point is, they need to make a Vampire yes. West Wing. That's the point. Yes, yeah. that's the point. And then make a Vampire Star Wars already. All right, look, I just gotta get this back on my head. 
Okay, okay, okay. Ready? No. I'm out of here. <laughs> Leave me alone, kitty. Dang. Me and Enna are planning to no. make a vampire no. video game. No. You're what? Me and Enna are planning to make a vampire video game. Okay. Where <laughs> it's vampire suburbia. Oh, I like that. It's run by a head vampiress named Karen or Helen. <laughs> Helen. Helen. No, Helen's the old and it's lady like set from in Lost Dogs. It's like set in the '60s, so there's going to be like Tupperware parties. Oh, it's when Helen was a kid. Okay, or when well, she was younger. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm I'm down again. But like, I'm back. we're supposed Tupperware. to be like, you're supposed to kill her. <laughs> yeah. Um. Ah! You gotta like go through like the. You have to like get in. And oh. Oh. Sneak, so so like, she's a vampire. She's the head vampire of a oh. suburban. Like nests of vampires. Oh, okay, but then you're like a vampire hunter yep. in suburbia. Do you yep. guys remember oh, okay. um, the uh, TV show that was briefly on Disney Channel back in the day, Eerie Indiana? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. That reminds me of that only because when you mentioned oh. what the uh, oh god Tupperware, there was a episode where there was a lady who sold Tupperware oh. and her family oh. also slept in giant Tupperware things. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, that's all I remember from the episode. <laughs> Uh, Isn't it just I like a hyperbolic chamber? <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, that show was great, dude. Oh, speaking of Indiana. speaking of random, good God, right? Speaking of random '90s stuff, um, did y'all see the trailer for uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yes. Not yet. I it did. actually looks kind of incredible. It's it's not I'm, what it used to be. No, it's it's like, more like scary stories, uh, scary stories to tell in the dark. Okay. Because it's like big. It's, go ahead. Isn't it more like the, uh, the yeah the scary t the movie yeah where it's like they fall like an actual no! like, oh. yeah it's like you, you have the midnight society and mm -hmm. they start telling their yes. stories but then their stories start coming to life mm -hmm. right um, oh and then like, so it doesn't just sort of like transition and then it yeah it's not just individual again. stories it's like a it's a mini series event or something mm -hmm. like that oh yeah I do want to watch this so I'm more good. intrigued by it now than I was before because I was like you know I loved Are You Afraid of the Dark when I was a kid but yeah. I've gone back and watched some of it as an adult and it doesn't hold up simply yeah. because I'm not you know eight anymore. Yeah. Right, because it was uh, it was horror for babies. Yeah, yeah. What was your that's my horror <laughs> favorite? <episode? laughs> no! Hey, shake well, that booty. Shake do you guys have booty. like an episode that yes. sticks with you? Yes. yes. Pinball, uh, the pinball wizard episode. The one with the soup that scared me. With the what? The soup. The soup. The soup is my episode as well. It's like made of fear. Yes. So yeah. like, what you do is you go in and they like strap you into this room and yep. then you're, they scare you and then your fear there's essence. Like, I they literally strap too. you to a room and there's like a giant guillotine that's like swinging yeah. in front of you yeah. and yeah. stuff and uh... I honestly don't remember any episodes. There really? was also one with a... Uh, what's those twins? It was like Tamara? Oh, oh Tia Tamara? and Tamara? Yeah, there was one where she was like basically a doppelganger and she was taking uh, over her sister's life. I vaguely remember that. But right. they, they transformed her into a lizard and at the very end of the episode it was like, <laughs> which one was the lizard? Was it the good sister or the bad yeah. one? Okay. Floating and just constantly getting punched in the face. Not cool, guys. <laughs> Not cool. Um, so no, the episode that I remember, the Pinball Wizard episode was um, this kid plays this Enchanted pinball machine at like the magic guy's shop yeah. in the magic guy He was in a ton of episodes where like he had like this little curios shop that people would mess with stuff and then their lives Get would be ruined um, Played this pinball machine job, in the, at the back to win and then goes to the mall and then the mall Great. Essentially Great. becomes a giant pinball machine that he's like the character inside of and he has to like conquer it level by level mm -hmm. And so it's basically like he Accidentally pushed himself like into a video game mm. and had to like go through this like horror Wait, video but game if you were the character the in the pinball wouldn't you he's just essentially be the, the pinball? Ball. He's essentially the ball. But like, you know, like how pinball machines have like stories and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, oh, you're supposed to do <laughs> this and do that. He became the character of that. It was really neat. Like as a kid who loved video games, I sure. was like, his video game came to life. I love it. So that's why I love that. And as you can see, I live my truth. Um, pinballs on video games. Go to jail. They're purely analog. Go to jail. Let us know your favorite <laughs> Are You Afraid of the Dark episode down in the comments below. <laughs> let us know if you would like to help produce the Vampire West Wing show. It's called, or it's Vampire called the Suburban Vampire Video Game. Yes. Wait, wait. The Best Wing. Best Wing. The Best Wing. All right, so I'm gonna get a hold of Taika and let's make that happen. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be Josh great. and Toby getting into Wacky Vampire yeah. Adventures. Dude, Dude, I'd actually watch that. <laughs> I, yeah, I need uh, See? I know, but that would be good. I want Adam Scott in that show. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. You I feel like he belongs in the Best Wing. Yeah, I can see that. What, is he a vampire or a vampire I feel like hunter? he would be a familiar. That's a good one. You yeah. know what then? Michael Schur. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Because you did, you, you know, you, you did Parks and Rec. Come on. Yeah. Do it. Let's get you. You're get not you. doing the good place anymore. Yeah. You're wrapping that up. <sighs> anyway, y'all, <laughs> with that, we've been stumped. I've been actually Burger Press and Jazz. We'll catch you all next time. Bye. Bye. All right. Who am I going to be today? Are you going to be the best you you can be today?
No, usually it's more like today I'm gonna be um, a Power Ranger. You know, this is, is that... why we can't go out in public, right? Uh, yeah, you know, that's why I've been barred from a couple places, but you know, they they don't want truth and justice. I don't want you there either. Wow. 